Hey guys, Grifton here, and today I want to talk about Phase 4. Now, as most of you might have heard, Phase 4 is on the PTR, and a lot of people are talking Zulamon, which is the new content that comes with Phase 4, and though I think ZA is a great addition, there's actually a lot of small changes to the rest of the game that actually make Phase 4 much bigger than it seems. So let's go ahead and get into some of these smaller changes. First up is new badge gear. So this is actually the fuel that is going to drive the new resurgence of heroic runs. This stuff is pretty solid, but also very expensive. So you'll start seeing a lot of heroic runs as people try to upgrade their pieces on both their mains and their alts. There's also the nether vortex added for 15 badges. Now I'm gonna hover over every item in kind of a fast speed. So those of you not on the PTR can at least pause and look at the loot you might want. Uh, there is a lot here though, and I'm pretty sure every class will have at least one upgrade, so keep that in mind. Okay, next up is Heroics now only require Honor. Okay, next small change, that's right, Heroics no longer need to be revered. This is good for people that are trying to catch up gear on their alts, and for those of us that plan to gather up some, some uh, badges of justice, you now have more characters in the game that can run it without having to do a hard rep grind first. That's a big deal. Uh, next one up is Caverns of Time Portal. It's finally here. So for those of us that go to Caverns of Time early to summon, you no longer need to. There is now a portal in Shatrath directly to the caverns, hopefully saving you a few headaches when someone shows up late to raid. Alright, uh, next up is the new mount. So if you don't know, ZA, just like ZG, has a special mount, but this one is much easier to get. You just have to kill the first four bosses in the designated time, uh, talk to the NPC, and you get to roll on a nice uh, bear mount. Don't worry if you don't win. You'll get one soon enough, as with the gear most people have, ZA speedrunning will be pretty common. And last but not least, uh, all raids now drop badges too. So uh, to help with progress and motivate more people to go back and run Kara and all the other old content, raids now will drop badges. This is great for fresh 70s trying to find some older content runs with the fully geared mains out there. I, I think Kara in total drops 22 badges with a full run, so keep that in mind. Uh, as you're trying to grab badges, that the raids too can help you out. Uh, but that's it. That's everything I want to go over today. I hope that information was helpful. If you guys have any questions about anything I put out here, go ahead and throw it in the comments and I'll try to respond. Uh, thanks for watching guys and as always, take care.